Hi this is Mohamed Yassir and you are watching Global Immigration Update. The UK government's proposed hike in the minimum salary requirement for spouse and family visas from 18,600 to a staggering 38,700 had sparked public outrage and threatened legal action. In a dramatic about-face, the government has revised its decision, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the uncertainty. In today's video, we will discuss the new salary threshold announced by the UK government on 21 December, 2024, after individual families plan to take them to court. But before we continue, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell icon to always be notified when we publish new UK visa and immigration updates. The Home Office has made a U-turn on its much-criticised plan to imminently raise the minimum salary requirement for British nationals, bringing foreign family members to the UK, saying the threshold will first be raised to 29,000 instead of 38,700. The revised proposal, announced unexpectedly and without fanfare in a parliamentary answer, said the threshold would be increased incrementally and would still eventually hit 38,700, but gave no timescale for when this would happen. The lack of detail and the suddenness of the policy change prompted opposition parties to condemn a lack of consultation, with Labour saying the policy was in chaos. While 29,000 remains above the average UK working salary, and is still significantly higher than the previous 18,600 minimum, ministers appeared to have at least partly given way to the outpouring of fury over the 38,700 threshold. Announced as part of a wider crackdown on legal migration earlier this month, under the 18,600 threshold, 75% of people could afford to have family members join them. If it was set at 38,700, just 40% would be able to afford it, and only 25% in the northeast of England. With such visas forming a small proportion of overall legal migration, the original change was expected to contribute only about 10,000 to an overall planned. Reduction of 300,000 in annual migration numbers, while taking a heavy toll on families, many of whom said they would be forced to live apart. Reunite Families, a campaign group for people affected by immigration rules, had instructed lawyers to explore ways to challenge the changes, which had been described by some as being a punishment for falling in love. Responding to the announcement, the group said, it is incredibly upsetting and outright disrespectful that the government has released these details for days before Christmas, nearly three weeks since they were first announced. 29,000 is still very high for most families, it excludes over half of the population from sponsoring a foreign spouse, and is much higher than the minimum wage so those on lower salaries are still being told their family is not welcome here. This would begin next spring, with the increase to 29,000. Pegged as the 25th percentile of earnings for jobs eligible for skilled worker visas. This would subsequently rise to the 40th percentile, which would currently make it 34,500. And then the 50th percentile. However, the answer gave no details about when the moves beyond 29,000 would happen. Asked when this would take place, Home Office officials pointed to a statement and fact sheet, which also did not set this out. In a statement, the Home Secretary said that he had provided further detail about how these measures will be applied and when they will be introduced. Without acknowledging the partial U-turn, he insisted the revised plan would still reduce annual net migration by 300,000, adding, I have been clear that current levels of migration to the UK are far too high. The British people are, rightly, frustrated and want to see action. Yvette Cooper, the Shadow Home Secretary, said this is more evidence of Tory government chaos on immigration and the economy. The earlier shift straight to 38,700 came as part of a wider crackdown, following anger from Conservative MPs when data released in November showed net inward migration had been 745,000 in the year to December 2022, fueled in part by a surge in overseas professionals arriving to work in the NHS and care homes. The plan presented by cleverly increased the minimum salary for a skilled worker visa to 38700 while the rule allowing the most in-demand professions to be hired at 20% below the going rate would be scrapped. While it was praised by many Tory MPs, some experts warned it risked causing further chaos in the already stretched health sector and damaging the UK's long-term growth prospects. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell icon to always be notified when we publish new updates on UK visas and immigration.